What's up, everyone? We're going to have a, some information to help y'all monetize on your message. We're going to talk about like um, Facebook um, engagement, email blast, and then pretty much monetizing your own message so you can get the most of it. So I want to start with, uh, let's go with the engagement on Facebook. So what are your little feedback on that, Chris? Engagement on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, don't listen to this guy. Oh, thanks a lot. He's going to throw me out the room. Hey, you know, let's use this disclaimer. He's going to throw me out the side of the room. Okay. Yeah, man. I mean, you know. Uh, well, you want to create content that's going to be engaging to your off your audience. Uh, so that can be in the form of video content, photo content, anything that offers value to your audience. And make sure it's not boring and dull so we just won't scroll through it and be like, uh, whatever. Yeah. I mean, for example, if you're a, a music artist, don't make every single one of your thing asking to come to your show. <laughs> you know? You probably made somebody mad, but that or is if, good. Or if you're a clothing line, don't make every single post about selling to your audience, you know, <laughs> selling to your... And I'm glad you hit on that too, because that's very annoying. Because like when you, yeah. you when your friends come to your um, page and they be like, "Well, dang, every time I'm trying to see what's going on, you're just trying to sell me something. I don't even want to go see your page no more." Yeah. So I feel like you're just gonna just be in my face, like buy this product right now. Exactly. Right now. now, if you're a finance person, retail. I mean, um, yeah, retail, whatever it is. Don't make every single thing trying to sell. Basically, yeah. Give give value so you know and it can be in the form of tips you know it can be DIY say if you're selling a clothing line and you have a t-shirt that you have and you're trying to sell that you can make a video about DIY how to cut it into a crop top and, and by the way it's fun love, and engaging for people, people love how to's and then yeah, on top of that it's, it's raining wow it's really coming down out there but we're gonna still be rolling this camera <laughs> But another good thing is like uh, motivational posts, and that's very easy. You can find motivational things on your own time. You think of something on your own, yeah. or you can Google like some images, or like look to your favorite actor, artist, and things like that to get inspirational content. Because you never know, that one image or a quote that you put out there may impact them, give that person value, and pump them up. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you know, then they're gonna more than likely want to come back to your page for more, you know, content. And get value from that, and that's the main thing you want to do is have people come back to your page and then share it. Man, my clothes is garage, man. <laughs> man, it's raining. The rain is coming down here. Hey, <laughs> you keep on talking to your audience. <laughs> you want to be all on camera about it too? At least they would know what happened to Chris. Got trapped in the garage door. <laughs> Which one? Uh, yeah. So, like, um, anything else you want to add on to the? Uh, post or content. Oh yeah, but I want to go back to the other thing, video blogs. Especially now with Facebook Live, that is like the prime thing and, I, and on top of that, Facebook is actually pushing that right now because they want more people to use like one of their new features. Yeah. So on top of that, what I want to say is try to schedule times where you can go Facebook Live consistently, constantly, like a scheduled day because when you do that, people will be more reliable and tune on that set time. And once you have a good foundation of people that tune in, you can pretty much monetize that and give people value and things like that because they expect it. Um, yeah, and if you to show up at that time. If you don't understand social media, then just hire a social media marketer or someone that understands social media. Save yourself the headache. Because a lot of, what a lot of marketers get wrong or businesses get wrong when marketing to people on social media is they market as they would do in any other advertising platform. And it's called social media for a reason. Be so, social. So. And Talk that's what a lot of businesses get wrong. They try to be very robotic in their posts. They try to be so professional. Or be like this, buy this excellent product. Who has all the great features? Yeah. Only $19.99. Just, just relax a little bit, man. Be yourself. You know, if you have a product, take photos of someone using that product or show how it benefits your customer. You know what? I'm glad you mentioned that. And this actually works very effectively. People fail to realize it's like, for example, um, when they monetize, I mean, pretty much advertise like these sports products, they don't yeah. have to just say, hey, buy this product. Then be like, oh, yeah, like taking a post, like getting ready for this great game, drinking something. Yeah. And then people will be like, what are you drinking? Or like wearing some kind of wristband or something like that. Like every time they're doing something workout, it's gonna cause that curiosity. Like, what is that? Like, where'd you get that from? Right. It's like indirect advertising. It's not in your face and pushy. I 
mean, the, I think the best, the best people that have done that companies like Nike, mm-hmm. uh, Apple, just like Nike it. for example. Uh, of course, they have the "Just Do It" campaign just and things it. like that. But they also, when they're selling a lot of their products, they don't really just so much talk about the products. They talk about the athletes. They talk about honoring the athletes that are wearing them, or honoring the athletics that you know that or use their products. Or better yet, the experience. Now, I'm not trying to offend nobody, but let's go oh, back. Here you go. No, 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 Michael Vick, remember those Nike Michael Vick uh, commercials where when he was beating the dogs? Not that one. What the dogs were Nike? No, no, the the Michael Vick experience. It's like when you go into the. You don't remember that commercial? Michael Vick. Michael Vick experience, like it's like it's like a. Th- oh, oh, when he put like the helmet on. Yeah, like, the, the helmet on. Yeah. It's like going to a, a theme park. Yeah. And yeah. you had you pretend like oh, you were Michael Vick, like taking a step back and he's doing all the. I wonder what the Chris Holmes experience would be like. Gotta put me on a spot like that. It'll be really stupid. <laughs> nah, but I'll guess probably be a lot offended. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man, when, when you when you're making these posts on on you know any social media or whatever it is, you want like one in five of those posts to be asking for a sale. Mm-hmm. The other ones you want them to be something engaging or entertaining or helpful in some type of way, a DIY. You know, if you don't know what that is, just do it yourself type of things. <laughs> you know, if you're a car selling company make a video about how to change your oil now a lot of people be like why would you do that you want them to come change it here at our company no i mean you got to be offer value to your customers so show them, show them how they can change your oil at the at the house that makes them a little bit more feel a little bit more comfortable you know when uh sit like you sell them to their company like i mean face. To and uh, to add to that um when you're talking about cars, what immediately came to my head is like the luxury cars. Yeah. What a lot of smart yeah, companies like do is like the experience. It's like when you see their commercials, like for the Ferraris and like that, you see the lifestyle, them coming out, you know, like slow motion or like in a nice location. Yeah. Pretty much like the spotlight's on them. So when you see that, you'd be like, oh, if I get that ride, I'm going to feel like that show time. It's going to be like, yeah. you know. I mean, if, I, if, I, if I made, was, was making like a flashy luxury car, I would just show it up, pulling up on side of some some girls, you know what I'm saying? This car gets you girls. I'm not even selling you a car. I'm selling you the, the, the experience, experience, the life, the exactly. lifestyle. It's going to get you girls. Probably not, but you know. It depends on the person. Not if you have no game like that. I don't know, man. I've seen some pretty crazy guys get, you know, some girls in a Lambo. Yeah, I can't even knock on that. It's no Lambo. I mean, it was rented, of course, but you know. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> So yeah, and also like if if you, like I said, if you don't have if you don't understand social media or you don't have time to uh, dedicate to social media marketing, just hire somebody else. To do or it. us. Yeah, but I mean, if you want to go down that route of failure. <laughs> okay. We have no sense, a lot of goofiness, but at all times, like you want to like hire an expert because with anything, especially a good business person, the, the time is everything. Yeah. And you want to use your time, utilize it on your expertise and being productive. You don't want to waste your time. Like, if your weak point is social media, yeah. trying to figure it out when you be more productive doing something else. And also, you want to talk about things that are going on within, you know, society, life, or whatever, and find a way to relate it to your product. For example, Oreo, you know, Oreo cookies, they had, like, one of the perfect advertisements uh, not too long ago. Uh, it was when Beyonce was performing at, at the Super Bowl, about. and the lights went out at that Super Bowl, and the Oreo cook they it had a, just simple a Oreo cookie with a spotlight on the Oreo cookie, and like it was like a cup of milk or whatever, and mm-hmm. it was like even though it's dark, you still have your Oreo cookie. I, I don't know exactly verbatim what it said, but it was a perfect thing. So you want to catch things in the moment. And used to your advantage. Used it to your advantage, yeah. And they it was indirect. Tough. It wasn't saying like Pine Oreo now. Yeah. It was more it's like entertaining hey, too. It, and they were real smart, like it's like even in the dark you can enjoy your Oreo. Yeah. If you're if you're, you know, McDonald's, throw some shots at uh Whataburger. <laughs> Whataburger has fun throwing some shots at other things. Yeah, they they do it all the time. <laughs> I mean if you're McDonald's and you throw shots at Whataburger, you're probably not gonna succeed, but you know, go for it. I think Wendy's have been trying that too. 
Yeah, Winnie's been, been very, very. Uh, Isn't that Twitter and Kittle? Yeah, they've been. I didn't think they were going to be that savage. <laughs> he shot me by surprise. Yeah, man. Winnie's, Winnie's get it done. But, you know, you also have to have the product to back it up. You mm-hmm. can't market a crap product. And that's the point blank, period. Mm-hmm. If your product is crap, then. I'm, I mean, unless it's actual crap and you're selling manure, then I mean, you can uh, market that. You're wrong for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, manure makes things grow, so. I mean, if you're selling actual crap, then go for it. <laughs> All right, I guess we can move on to the next subject. Yeah, okay, the next one we'll tip on is monetizing the message. The monetizing the message. I'm going to let you take the take lead on this one. Uh, again, don't try and market a crap product. <laughs> You know, uh, that's that's basically all I have on that. You know, you got a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Monetizing well, your message. Okay, we're gonna start off with this McDonald's. You ever heard of like plenty of times? You love to see you smile. It's like every time they have like a basketball star like LeBron James or like the kids or something like that. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. Or that I'm loving it. Yeah. And then oh yeah, and then uh, McDonald's. What is smart. that message though? Hmm? What is that message? Just bring like Feed a- your children this stuff that will get, kill them in a few years <laughs> from diabetes. You wrong for that? No, okay, okay. I'm <laughs> but basically, they're trying to pretty much give the message of the happy experience. Yeah. Like, I'm loving it. Or we love to see you smile. They want to make it like a friendly environment besides trying to kill us off. Yeah. <laughs> but you also got to make sure your message is, is true to what you believe in and your values because... If it's not, people will call you out on your BS. Yep. So, you know, if you're faking it to make it, then... Which reminds me, remember, who, who that Subway guy? Like, oh, remember, man. he was like the big, he was like the... The guy man. that got in trouble for uh, yeah, he lost having all that pedophile stuff on his computer? <laughs> they had to get rid of him. At first, he was the message of the company, Subway. You know, I mean, like, I mean, he wasn't... It's not like he was lying. I mean, he lost weight eating Subway, I think. Yeah, and that was their message. They wanted to show that you can lose weight by eating the sandwiches, but once he got in all that trouble, they're like, yeah, you killed my message, dog. We gotta let you go. I mean, okay, you know, want to eat your sandwich, lose some weights, get some kids on your side. I mean, yeah. if you're a pedophile, go for it, man. Subway's the place to go, but I don't eat a Subway no more for that. Bring all lawsuits towards him. <laughs> I, don't eat, I, don't, I don't support Subway anymore because they had that pedophile on there, but you know what else. It happens. Or it happens, what? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, so you need to clean this up, man. <laughs> no, I'm just what are you talking about? <laughs> it happens. All right. No, well, also, you, what you want to do is you want to build your brand. Yes. So uh, that, it, that's going to be very important when it comes to getting your message out because no one wants to listen to someone that hasn't built anything. It's like, what is it? Like, I haven't heard of this. Like, yeah. It's like, what is it? Like, what? And how you build your brand, again, offer value to people in the form of entertainment or help. You know, and that's what people watch things for. If you ever look something up on YouTube, for example, and you search it and you find someone that's offering tips on something, and you will probably subscribe to them if they're offering help, and then also their personality catches you. It's entertaining or something like that. So, And then on top of that, being consistent. Yeah. Be branding is not Very an overnight consistent. thing. It's not overnight. I don't know where people get this at. Like, oh, I'm going to be an overnight success. There's a huge amount of people. But in the real world... The people that get the success overnight, it last doesn't long. last long. It mm-hmm. fades out. Because once you're known for a certain thing, like if you hit it at a, at a high point and you, and you get known for that certain thing, it's, it's, it's a gimmick. Gimmicks never last. So. And then on top of that, you don't know how to like keep that kind of level. Yeah, it's like you, you just started trying all types of stuff. You like that one guy, uh, oh, uh, what is it, Boonk? Boonk gang? <laughs> Going around uh, terrorizing these businesses. And then didn't he get like a, a rest or something like that? Or get some, got some charges? Yeah, he don't want to be Boonk. You're pissing all kinds of people off. But oh well, it's good information. Mm-hmm. Hey. I don't think I'm pissing anybody off. I mean, I, I think most people agree with me what he does. It's kind of retarded, but you know. Yeah, it is. I mean, I think it's some ways he can go about it being, you know, doing it the right way, but you know, he's just being straight ignorant, but you know. <laughs> and also, when monetizing your message, you want to figure out what your target audience is. 
and what they want. What are yeah. their values? You don't want to be just shooting like and not aiming. It's like yeah, like not knowing what your niche is. Like oh yeah, I'm aiming for like a hundred thousand, but I'm like, right. hey, where's that? Where's that? Where's that here? Like, it's, it's marketing one hundred and one, man. You want to basically create uh, models of it. So. You want to create a, a, a person, your ideal person that would buy your product if you're selling products. You know, if it's little Susie, she's a 20 year old uh, single mother, and you know, if you're selling baby strollers, then figure out what 20 year old Susie likes, what she dislikes, and write it down what she would be looking for, and this or that. And you know, it, it may sound crazy, it may sound kind of irrelevant. But if you can get into the mind of what your target target audience is thinking, then you can get into what would be the best way to provide them with this or that. Don't and just with, think that what 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 you think that they would like. And know? that I'm just gonna like stop thinking of what you want when you pretty much trying to sell merchandise. Because when you're doing that, it's like we just talked about earlier. You're just trying to shoot, trying to hit a target. You shoot, trying to aim a target, and you're not hitting nothing at all. Once you understand, that's Steph Curry. You probably hit a few shots. Well, that's just Steph Curry. You know, no, that's only Steph Curry, though. But Except for that one game, he shot like 10 threes and missed all of them. <laughs> 0 for 10 from three points at the field. Man, that's crazy. That's fire. Been missed. Man, we all have those days, man. The best shooters will miss. Yeah. Even what Jordan. are we talking about again? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> he lost track. Now you over here shooting miss targets. <laughs> Golly. Message. Yeah, yeah, the message. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, also, you got to be passionate about your message because if you're not passionate about it, then you're going to, you know, frail away from it. And when things get really hard, it's going to yeah, quit. Any rational person would quit uh, when it comes to things not working. You know, if you're banging your head against the wall, you're just going to turn around and do something else. So you have to be passionate about it. Sometimes you have to just work through it and keep going until something happens. Yeah, just push through that wall. But also, like, when you are passionate about it, don't tell, uh, that guy that worked for Subway at though. <laughs> yeah, wow. Sad story. <laughs> but yeah, be passionate about what you're doing because, like, when you're passionate about it, people can see it. People can see the BS and people who are, are like real 100 about it. Yeah. If you say, oh, 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 oh man, I'm trying to. Passion, right? Camera cut off because of him. Thanks. I'm kidding. Anyway. I'm trying to get back to Montage my Montage your message. Montage your and passion. Oh, yeah. Be passionate about what you're doing because, like, when you're I literally just said that. I'm kidding. I'm going to go ahead. You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here. But, like, um, being when you're passionate about what you're doing, people can actually see it. And so, like, people can really easily tell, like, people who's, like, BSing it and who's, like, really genuine about it. If you yeah. just go on around, like, yeah, I love this. Now, stuff. everybody won't be able to tell that. Some people, I don't want to say they like common sense, but they probably... <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not being funny about this, but like, like some ways, if they haven't been in a certain area, they probably won't be able to tell uh, if a person is BSing them, because uh, they might not have like not have like a a lot of knowledge about that certain situation or, or product, industry, whatever. Or something yeah. Like that. So, uh, but people that know what they're doing, they're gonna call you out on your BS, and you know you're gonna be sitting there looking stupid. Or to reverse it, you can like take that feedback. And then tweak what you're doing so you can actually be the expert of it. Because yeah. uh, honestly, like we have our expertise and things like that, but we're right. all human beings. We are still learning. Next, so, it goes back to building your brand on Facebook or any other social media platform. You want to, you want to basically, like you said, do Facebook Live videos or whatever that is to establish yourself as an expert within your given area. You know, or if you want to write books on it, short eBooks. And you know you want to establish yourself as an expert, and that will help you to get your message out, and you know, and speak from your truth as well. People love things from the heart or from your own personal experience. Yeah. Like one person, I, I have to put on because I always look up to him. Like Eric Thomas, he always brings up that he came from a homeless background. He ate out of trash cans and things like that. So I wonder what kind of food he got. I want they have McDonald's or Subway. <laughs> they have Subway. I don't know if I can support AT no more, man. He's eating food from a pedophile endorsement. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, people go. <laughs> but anyway, when people see that and you're like real humble and you come in like from like showing where you where you came from to where you got to establish, people respect that and like can follow the storyline and respect the grinds you got to. And going 
through that fighting through struggle, you get even more respect from people who was like in higher positions because they can see that you went through challenges, yeah. the rejection, you know, the times where you, most people would like give up and just say, this is not me. Yeah. Like when you go through these crucial times and you show that you're not going to quit, you know, you get respect from people at all kinds of levels when you yeah. succeed. And sometimes you're still going to get that no from certain people. Don't think about it too much, just move on. So you have people like, I'm pretty sure Gary Vee still gets his nose. Yeah. I mean, but. Especially for like speaking and stuff like that. A lot of people don't like the way he, you know, gives a lot of cursing and stuff like that. Oh yeah, that, he's but, blunt straight to the point. You know, it's there's yeah. something for everybody. That's what you got to realize. It's a yeah. large world. Your message won't resonate with every single person, so don't expect it to. But if you're speaking your truth, then funny. there will be somebody out there that has the same truth as you. So, so to wrap on that, just be yourself. Um, be specific and straightforward for like with your message. Make sure you continue the branding. It's not a short game. It's a long game. You know, be consistent with it, and eventually your fans will come and support you. So the next thing I, I think, well, the last thing we want to know is emails. Emails. I don't emails. like emails. Oh, man. You gonna just throw something straight at me? Hey, man. <laughs> I'm living my truth. I'm, this is my <laughs> message, man. I'm speaking my truth. Hey, you just went back to that. So I guess hey, you gotta hit on this one. I gotta be real with it, man. I gotta go ahead. It. But when it comes to emails, the main thing that I had to say is do not be the annoying spam person. Yes, don't just spam. Constantly. Buy it right now, right now, buy this for four ninety nine only for a limited time only. Because yeah. like nobody likes a pushy salesperson. If anything, that's the best way to get you disconnected and kill a lot of relationships. Right. Straighten it, spam box. And, and don't. don't and don't spam a lot, man. Like like if you're gonna send emails, I would recommend maybe once a week, maybe a few times a month or once a month. Uh, well, not probably not. I mean, you can do it once a month. It depends yeah, on your, your, your industry, market. Your, your market that you're in. Uh, if you're doing it every day, just make sure it's something that's helpful or entertaining to whoever it is that you're trying to market to. And it also goes back to what we were saying earlier. Make sure, like, even in your emails, you're giving value, great, yeah. great content. And um, one little thing that I will say is, like, when you can spark emotion, especially, like, with emails and stuff like that and great content, they're more likely to want to open it up instead of just like, you know, throwing the spam. Yeah. Thing. Don't go for the sale right away. Yeah, that's a big no-no. I don't like, know. Why even, even if you're uh, offering discounts, maybe offer a discount like one in three emails or one in five emails. Don't do it every single email. Oh, like, hey, I got this discount coming and, you know, come buy something. Like, yeah, I do not do that. And be I, helpful or entertaining. Maybe you have one email that's showing like your spring specials. And then maybe you have another email that's showing someone wearing your spring special. Or it's some this, fun type I forgot of video. what insurance company did this play clip with this. Like in one email, it was like for the insurance coverage, but it didn't say like, oh, buy it right now. Yeah. They're like, look what happens when you, um, like, the days, I'm trying to see how to do this real quick. Like, what happens if you don't get insurance? So like, yeah. question was kind of like, you know, so they had this video. You know, this person like living this like he's all lifestyle, you know, living luxuries that got it all good. And I guess, and I mean, the video was saying like, oh, you know, you missed your payment for this, your entry coverage will be discounted. He's like, oh, whatever. So he's like, chucks the phone in the back. And like right after that, he, you know, swings around the corner to the next streets and hits like this parked vehicle. Oh, spot. <laughs> so now he's like, you know what? <laughs> I don't mean to cut you off, man, but, uh, one time I was walking back from the movies out, out there in the L.A., you know, they have a lot of hills. Mm -hmm. And it's like a hill, this guy parked and, uh, you know, parked right behind a car. You know, it's not limited to park, parking out there, it's just street parking. So he's parked like right behind a car. I don't know if this guy was drunk or not or what, mm -hmm. but he's about to pull out and he's he like, oh. hits the car. I'm like, he's yeah, like right up against the back of the car. And then he kept going and just pulled off. I feel kind of sorry for the people. So that entrance. So and, and, and indirectly, you just pretty much got their attention. But I wonder, um, the other people that he messed up their car, would their insurance cover something that was not even their fault? Like, that sucks, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Or like them crazy. Moral of the story. If you can get away with it, do it. <laughs> That's not the best you're trying to advertise. <laughs> <laughs> or like, you know, the funny... Um, Videos where it's like mayhem, like this is mayhem, like. Oh yeah. yeah, was it? 
it's not Geico, is it? I don't want to say the wrong company. If we say the wrong company, please forgive us. Yeah. I don't think it's Geico, but I think it's a little Ohio State. It's one it's of Ohio State. I think it may be. Oh, I don't know. I, I know it's like the guy, you know, that, you know, he does all those stuff. Like yeah. when he fell off of that top of the uh, that house onto the car. Yeah, that's funny. Or like um, one of the videos, and this is like, you know, this is the way that you pretty much put the message out there, like, I'm the red reindeer. This is right out there on the road like this. You're the reindeer? <laughs> What's <laughs> going on with you today, man? You're getting silly on these videos. Hey, but it's putting the message out there in a fun way. That's how I was born. But like, seriously, I don't know. Yeah, what. if you're trying to be Santa Claus, <laughs> you know. But yeah, in the Mayhem commercial, the dude hopped out in the middle of the street. I see he was a reindeer and got yeah. hit by a car. Be entertaining. Yeah, entertaining, fun, funny, and just things. And like so. when you're writing copy on uh, like social media, be entertaining as well. Don't be so robotic with it. It's, it's social media, man. You can you can relax a little bit. You know what I'm so saying? So be fun in your emails. That way, it's not so pressuring. So when they, it, it feels more personal. Yeah. You know, personal is the best. Nobody way. wants to be so so something straight from some stiff or some company they want to feel they want someone they want an actual person to tell something to you because then you know it's coming from a person it doesn't sound it's like person. it's like a robotic copy paste yeah. like thousands of i don't know if i can trust something like a robot selling me something you know I robot. they probably not telling the truth i don't know people don't tell the truth either so you know <laughs> <laughs> it's a loose game man yeah we're all going down here <laughs> yeah this whole video is going it's going to be crap if I laugh in the foot song right now, that's we're getting great information too. Huh? <laughs> but anyway, like is there anything else you want to wrap up this video with? Uh Any last little pointers. Let's see, what, what were we talking about again? This guy right here. Uh <laughs> use the email blast, build an engagement on Facebook, monetizing your message. Yeah, when you got last point you want to give Um uh, also on Facebook or so any social media that source uh sort um it's great to use social media influencers because they have people that they've been that trust what they say and those social media influence can be anybody from a music artist to a youtuber you know uh, their audience trust what they say and they can sell just by anything to them if they can sell a, a fidget spinner to them if they wanted to you know I mean they can sell you sell a fidget spinner to anybody but uh, <laughs> yeah you uh, using like paying those social media influencers could be the difference from paying two thousand dollars for a commercial or an advertisement and paying them like maybe like a hundred dollars to five hundred dollars and they will get a lot uh, a lot wider range of and people. real people yeah real people and also they people trust them so they're more likely to buy my last little point is actually pretty simple respond respond a lot of, when yeah. i say respond it's like when engage people, yeah engage it's like when people leave comments or message you or things like that, you want to respond. Ah, yeah. Because if That's you another thing. if you don't respond, it's gonna be like, oh, for real, you think you're a big. You want to create some more engagement, do contests. You know. I mean, you give a little bit too much effort. No, oh, okay. I'm giving too much information. We'll save it for another day. Yeah, we gotta give you know multiple videos out there. Can't just put it all in one. Hey, man, I'm living my truth. See, I'm trying to be helpful. This guy's <laughs> all about money making. <laughs> I'm saying so nah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a sign of a scammer right there. That is a sign. Of, I'm trying to help you guys. This guy's trying to scam me. No, but honestly, I'm for real. Like contests are the best way to like build a lot of engagement. So let's say for a contest, I'm gonna like, say it's the best way, but it's a good, it's a great way. Good, way, yeah. Because like when you do things like that, um, it builds like a lot of engagement. A lot of people want to pitch in, put out their voice, yeah. and then let's say it can be like a contest for like a Cowboys jersey. All the Cowboy fans, you know, will pretty much jump into that contest because yeah. they support the Cowboys. Boo, Cowboys! Okay, I'm a Cowboy fan. Yeah, there's, there's some Texas <laughs> fans watching this right now. They're like, okay, I'm clicking off of this video. This stuff or crap. Texas fans or any kind of football fans. <laughs> People like, you have a lot of nerve, Chris. I'm going to take you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, like get other people to repost it. Uh, get like three people to tag their closest friends in it that might be interested in it. And that's a quick way to put them to share. I mean, it's almost like free advertisement for you. You know, what is that product going to cost you? A few dollars compared to the long end of you getting like thousands of dollars for that one little contest so yeah so yeah that's pretty much like what we're going to like wrap it up on this video uh please you know like share comment it's very hot in here man it is hot as hell <laughs>
Yeah. Because it was raining outside. I didn't want to be too Texas annoyed. Texas humidity. Oh, my goodness. I'm going back to California, man. Who it is? <laughs> it's just this out of Texas. I'm sorry. I get off track. I'm sorry. As we can all see. But, yeah, like, share, you know, talk to your friends much more about this video, you know, great information. And then, you know, uh, if you have any questions for us, we feel free to send us a message so we can respond back to you, you know. Let me get in the comments, hashtag live your truth. You know what? Hey, we should actually start that trend. And also hashtag Chris Holmes is fake. It's fake news. Hashtag fake news, all in the comments. Oh, God. That's how I know you watch this video in, to the end. <laughs> Hashtag fake news. You know some people actually do that too. Just to be ignorant. I love you. For the people that do that, I love you. I hate you. put hashtag fake news, I will give you five dollars just... from his bank account. Wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't agree to that. Hey man, this is a contest. This is how you get people to share. <laughs> On that note. See, I'm, try I'm trying to prove that these tactics work, and this guy right here is like disproving it, man. Come on now. It does work. Five dollars from his bank account. <laughs> his bank account. Random person is gonna get five dollars from his bank account. Hashtag fake news. Hashtag live your truth. From his bank account. His bank account. His bank account. But anyway, that's the end of this video. And let's start it up. Share, debate with your friends, comment on much more. Hope you got a great value, and let's come out of this one. Peace. I'm gone. <laughs>